Hi, so this is a continuation of the modifications I'm making to our audio class in light of some new information. So um, we left off with uh, sporting a timer that closes the time after one second. Now if your times are more than one second or less than one second, it's always one second. Later what I'll do is I'll figure out how long we need to play it for and we'll set it to that. But for now, we just put one second. Now, what I'm missing here is um, handling the task here. I should copy and paste this stuff here. I need to actually start the task, keep it safe, and um, tell tell it uh, that I've, I've added in a new sound because that's the way I've designed it previously. So I need just to make sure it's all consistent there. That should be fine now. Um, one other thing is, at the bottom here, I think I've forgotten to write command here. So you need to write command here. And over here, I want to just make sure my tasks are closing properly. So console.write line, task removed, uh, whichever task was removed, which, whichever lo in whichever location, just to make sure the tasks are getting deleted and I'm up building up on all these tasks that are, that are closing the sound. All right, so um, let's run that. Beautiful. So you can see here in output that um, the ear is closing the all the sounds as it spawns them, and and it's removing the task. And since it's so fast, since the sounds are so short, um, it's removing it straight away. Um, and these things are closing, so that's good. So it is working uh, nicely there. Um, all right. I think that's that's that so what we need to do now is we need to figure out how long these sounds are uh, so that our timer doesn't always wait one second it waits the the time the, the you know, however long the sound needs to play so that's kind of what we want to do there so um, what I'll do is I'll create a new method this one can be a private method because no one else needs to use it other than this particular um, class so private um, share uh, private sub uh, get uh, play length sound sound play length kind of what we want to get pilot play length and, and then as so this is not a sub it should be a function should it output like a play length as a as an integer and um, if we need to give it the alias And now we need to um, use our MCI here. And now we actually need to use some of the some of the arguments here. So this 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 argument this argument now is uh, we need to actually have to get um, information from it. So the command that we want to send is basically status, and then the alias's name, whatever the alias name is, and then length. So that's kind of what we need to do. Put spaces in between everything. Put space here and space here. Uh, that's the command we want to send. And then we're going to get information. We're going to get the length from this, this buffer. This is the buffer size, this is the buffer. Uh, so let's create a buffer. A byte buffer. I think this is a bytes. So we go dim buffer as two five five as bytes as byte new. I don't think I think that's fine. Put the buffer in there. This. Uh, since the buffer is from zero to two, two, it's two five five locations, so it'll be zero to two five four. I think it should be like that. Um, this one requires a string builder, not a buffer, because I made it a string builder. Can I make this a buffer array? Right. 
dead. And let's just print a console right live what comes out of here. Uh, and what's inside? Buffer. No, yeah. Location uh, 01, 0. Just. Actually, I'll just put a breakpoint there. Just so I have a look at what's inside buffer. Lock that in. Alright, uh, now I need to use it. Let's use it here. So after I, I play my sound, well, I should get the. I should try and get this length sound play length that random name sound play length what is it sound play length sound play length Oh yeah, this should be shared because I'm I need to use shared in a shared function. And let's put a breakpoint there. And let's run. Let's have a look at what it gives me. All right, so it did so it gave me what's in buffer. Nothing's not, uh, it's not happy. So I, I guess it, I, th I guess the version I'm using does require a, um, is there a W version that gives me a buffer? Let's check W version. Oh yeah, that's right, it's not. Mm. I didn't rename everything. Okay. Let's try that. Nothing in the buffer. Actually, this should be 254. So, uh, send status length. Hi, so um, I did a few fixes. I just scroll up just to show you, um, just to make sure everything's the same on your end. So, over here, um, by val return value as string bearer I use I'm using a string bearer it just gets rid of the nulls for me just make sure that's a string builder and that's MCI send string all right and if you scroll down over here um, change your buffer to buffer as string builder equals new string builder and uh, set it to 25 it doesn't matter 255 254 however big you want your buffer to be um, 0 to 254 and then just make sure you got the the same length put the buffer in there I've console right line the buffer to string here dot to string open close brackets and then I return the buffer to string so I think that's an extra line there that you'll need to add so I'll just give you time to add those you can pause the video um, and then over here the issue is I try to pull a length out and I haven't even loaded this, the, the, the music yet. So I really should do this after. So I do the length after I play the music, right? 
and then over and then this thing will get a length so I'll just lock it here and just show you what comes out so I'll just play a sound all right so so that that sound was uh, is two three seventy two milliseconds all right 372 milliseconds and fortunately this thing takes milliseconds as well so what I'll do is I'll I'll imp pass I have to convert the string to a okay, is there an int pass for this function oh no actually sorry we just use val to length so let's just check that just to make sure it's setting the interval to be that yep so if, so this one's the sound effect for the hit not the shoot 430 and in the interval 430 beautiful Okay, so Yep. Yep. So it's closing it off there. So that's good. So now um, this is the timer will run, will close the time after. It'll wait however long this, this sound needs to play and then it'll close. And we can't, we won't do any loops for playing sound and that's fine. I think that's pretty good there. So um, that's pretty much working. Uh, I think that's all done. So I'll see you in the next video.